Chase Lehock with the Blue Futon. And out of the theaters is a movie called Clean. Is this movie so fresh or so clean clean? Or is it a pretty dirty time? Let's find out. So, what did I think of Clean? I thought it was a decent premise of a movie that you've seen a million times before. With all these revenge stories, with all of these John Wick ripoffs, with all these graphic violent movies, you've seen it before. You've seen the layout of how the movie is by part, by part, by part, by a guy trying to get clean, someone in his neighborhood, family, friend, etc. is in trouble. He needs to dig up his past and now save the day. So, it is bloody, it is violent, it is acted well, it has a good, strong, atmospheric feel to it. But it also feels cheap at the same time. What do I mean by that? Well, the first half of the movie where Andre Brody is actually, you know, being a trash man. Going through the neighborhood. Trying to do good. Trying to just clean up these houses in New York. There, It's very atmospheric. And you understand, like, he's in a shitty spot. He's in a shitty neighborhood. And he's just trying to do better by making up for what he did in the past. But what I mean by the cheap shot is the very end of the film with this new mansion he has to go into. When he crashes the trash truck, for example, it looks very cheap. How everything's in the dark all of a sudden. I don't like that part of movies that do this where all fight scenes are in the dark. I feel like they do it on purpose so it'll be cheaper and easier for them to edit everything happening on screen. And I just don't like that as well. And also, a lot of the fight scenes in this movie are in small corridors, hallways, etc. So there's not a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's going to be mostly guns or swinging a wrench. Not a wrench, up. Uh, it's probably a huge motherfucking wrench. It is probably a wrench, but I'm not that smart when it comes to those type of tools. But we'll call it a wrench. But like I said, this movie though, Andre Brody has did the score and music. He co-produced, he co-written, and he would act in this movie. So apparently this was a passion project for him to do. Which kudos for him, Oscar winner. Even though it feels like a lot of Oscar winners nowadays, they just kind of like disappear. Like seriously, Jennifer Lawrence, Andre Brody. Uh... Who else do we have? Halle Berry. She's kind of been off and on throughout the, you know, her career as well. And Andre Bro is kind of that same way. But Queen, it is very, very been there, done that. It is actually a better movie with him telling a story without doing the violence. I know that sounds weird, but the progression of him trying to be a good person was very interesting. But then the violence just randomly happens. And the last AKA fight scene was maybe seven to eight minutes tops max like i said clean it's not super clean but it's not super dirty so it is a mediocre time when you're cleaning your house like you kind of like it's like half ass in your laundry you put it in the washer all right you put it in the dryer all right you put it in the laundry basket you put it in the laundry basket and this movie is kind of stuck in that laundry basket and is not folded neatly and put in the drawer so clean will receive a two and a half out of five blue futons. It goes at 50%. So see the critic community scores gave this one. So clean, you have a 42% with 24 critics and fewer than 50 audience score. So, and no critic consensus. But yeah, okay movie. I'll put it that way. Very middle of the road. Like I said, it's stuck in the laundry basket. It's not folded in the drawer. Or kind of like this way. You take out the trash. The trash can's in the backyard. And it's Thursday. It's trash day, but you just haven't taking the trash out on Thursday, and you're like, shit, I gotta wait another week. So anyway, 5042, Chase Lee Hockey with the Blue Futon, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Blue Tony Topia. You Blue Tonians, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Yeah, this week, though, how I say this is in theaters, it's kind of a lie, because on Voodoo, because there's absolutely no new releases this week. Next week, though, Jackass, yes, and Moonfall. That's gonna be a long Thursday night, but I'm ready. Clean. Whistle while you work. I can't whistle.